everyone. Welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of Journalist Toolbox. Before we get started on our uh, hacks and docs uh, uh, training today, I wanted to mention journalisttoolbox.org. It's a free website I've updated for the last 27 years. It uh, covers all things digital and data journalism, other topics that are inter of interest to journalists, public records, finding expert sources, transcription tools. Uh, we all need transcription tools. Uh, and uh, you can open these up, uh, it has links to free tools, has training videos built into it uh, that you can play and get up to speed on uh, either a topic uh, or, uh, in this case, uh, just tools for general reporting uh, very, very quickly. Uh, besides uh, the uh, pages and links here, you can also find the, the topics down the left-hand side here. Uh, you can go in and open up our training videos section. It takes you to a free YouTube page. Uh, we've got more than 80 training videos on here. Um, everything, uh, you know, from uh, uh, scraping PDFs uh, and editing video on your phone and all kinds of different uh, little apps and desktop tools. Um, and the videos range from three minutes long all the way up to almost 20 for some of the, you know, Tableau public COVID-19 dashboard tools and things like that, um, a little more involved. Um, so there's something in there really for everybody. Uh, and again, it's all free. Um, with the training videos. Uh, newsletter, uh, you can access right here in the upper right hand corner. Uh, it will take you to our Substack newsletter page. Uh, you can subscribe for free here. You get a newsletter every other uh, Tuesday morning, uh, typically around nine Eastern time. Uh, it's a very quick read, uh, five minutes or less. Uh, this one we uh, just posted not long ago uh, was about, uh, for those of you fleeing Twitter, uh, here's you know Mastodon and you know the pros and cons of using Mastodon and a lot of resources. Uh, for getting set up on it, uh, and also uh, a nice little training video uh, from my friend Rob Montgomery here on, on how to get your Mastodon set up. <clears throat> uh, at the bottom of each newsletter, uh, we always have from around the web, which is a collection of uh, tools uh, and resources uh, for journalists, just uh, you know, kind of random stuff here and there. Um, so uh, subscribe to this. Uh, it's priced right, free, uh, and you can do a, a lot of really cool uh, things uh, uh, with what you learn there and, you know, in a very short amount of time, five minute read. Um, so what we're going to talk about now uh, are hacks and docs, uh, using uh, Google Docs, uh, Canva Docs, um, how to open up docs quickly, how to do uh, use Google Voice type, things like that. So it's just a little bit of everything uh, in this training today. Um, Canva Docs uh, just launched uh, in the fall of 2022, and in, De and in December of 2022, added a few more features to it. And it's worth noting because they're becoming a big competitor uh, for Google Docs, which many of us have been using for years, or Word Docs uh, as well. Um, it's got more embedding options in Google Docs. It has some really nice templates. I'll show you a few of those. Uh, it's really worth exploring. Um, if you want to find more tools like this, Journalist Toolbox Productivity page uh, will get you there. Um, uh, you can find it right out. It's usually somewhere on the home page. If not, uh, the pull down menu over here under browse topics will get you there as well. Um, but uh, your know, productivity page is right here. So there's a lot of different types of docs uh, uh, resources or document uh, resources there. So let me show you a couple of hacks. And boy, this is worth the price of admission alone here. Uh, Google Docs. If you need to open a Google Doc quickly, most of us probably go to Google Drive and uh, open that up and then we hit the new button and then select from the pull down menu and things like that. Uh, that I wanna open a Google Doc or a Google Sheet or a Google Slides or a Google Form. Well, there's a quicker way, uh, especially if you're uh, opening a document, you wanna open it quickly for uh, maybe an interview that you're doing or uh, open a Google Sheet very quickly. I, mean, I, do, I teach data journalism at UIC here in Chicago. Uh, so I'm opening Google Sheets constantly. A uh, good way to do that is type in sheets.new, sheets.new. And in a second, your Google Sheet will open. You always want to label your sheet the minute you get it. Which I'll delete later because I labeled it test doc. Uh, and then you can always go in here and move it to whatever folder you want it to go to. It'll allow you to select a, uh, a folder here. Um, and just uh, you know, dump it wherever uh, you want to. I'll drop this into my classroom folder. And move it there, and then I can go reopen it. Okay, so that's to open a Google Sheet. 
If I want to open a Google Docs, I just go docs.new. You know, it pops my Google Doc. And I'm going to label this one. It's always the first thing you should do is label your, uh, I always tell my students that, label your Google Docs the minute you open it. Um, so that way, because there's nothing worse than going back and trying to find it later and search for it. Uh, and you can't find it because it's an untitled doc. And you've got dozens of untitled documents in, in there. It's a great way to lose your work. Um, so I've got this opened up. And you know I can go in and type in here if I wanted to. But if, let's say I'm doing an interview. Uh, and you, maybe I need to back up uh, my uh, transcription that I'm doing on Zoom or something like that. I can go up in here to Tools and go down to where it says Voice Typing. And I can click on this right here and start recording. And it'll start transcribing me in real time. Um, it's not perfect, uh, but it does a really good job of kind of taking notes as you go along. The challenge with any transcription tool uh, is you have to go back and do a good job of cleaning it up. It'll miss articles A, N, and the. Uh, it'll uh, confuse prepositions sometimes to, T-O, with T-W-O, and T-O-O. Uh, they're there and they are. Uh, those often are... Uh, tripping points. It also struggles a bit with accents and things like that, but overall it does a pretty good job. It uses AI. Uh, it kind of learns from its mistakes as you go. Uh, so again, uh, it's not you know as good as Otter.ai or Descript or Alice or any of those tools uh, that are pretty popular on the transcription page of Journalist Toolbox, but it is a good little backup for those tools uh, if you need to be able to kind of keep an eye on this uh, when you're uh, when you're doing an interview. Um, I used this as a little backup when I was doing uh, interviews over Zoom for my book. And uh, uh, it was very, very, very helpful. So, um, yeah, as you can see here, <laughs> is a, I was doing interviews for my butt. <laughs> you know, see, it makes a lot of mistakes. But as long as you can go back and uh, catch those, uh, you'll be okay. Uh, I think it dropped the word cattle somewhere in here, too. It just misunderstood what I was saying, um, so it happens sometimes. But again, it picks up the gist of what you're saying here. It's actually a pretty good little feature uh, of uh, Google Docs. A lot of people don't know it, uh, it even exists. Um, uh, another uh, way to open a doc quickly, if you use Google Drawings a lot, drawings.new, uh, it'll open up the Google Drawing tool. Um, and then you can go in then and you know uh, draw your designs on here. It works, you know, like Excala Draw or Miro or some of these other tools. You can add a text box, pretty much what you'd see in, in uh, you know uh, in Microsoft Word for drawing things like that. Um, so that's the drawing tool. Um, so you can open those all up by doing Sheets.new, Docs.new, or Drawings.new. Uh, drawings plural, I might add. Um, the one we really want to focus on here, though, is Canvas. Canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com. Um, th this tool, Canva's been around for a while. Uh, it uh, is a graphic making tool. You can do presentations in it. It's really good for creating social media cards. Uh, you can do videos in it now. In 2022, they added a, a video editing feature in it. That's, a, that's okay. Um, uh, they also added Google, uh, Google Docs, Canva Docs, uh, force of habit. Um, docs right here, you can also open them over here. Um, and this has some interesting features to it. Um, you could go in and, and click on it here. Uh, down here, it'll show you just some uh, you know, quick overview templates. Um, uh, I'll just hit start writing here. Um, and uh, it'll open up uh, untitled design, uh, a blank one if I wanted to, or I could go in and look up others. You might notice this interface. If you ever use the tool medium.com, uh, medium is very, very uh, popular for uh, blogging. Uh, micro bloggers use it quite a bit. Um, uh, the little plus sign add t tab over here uh, is totally ripped off from, uh, from the folks at Medium, but uh, it's a great little tool and why not? Uh, so, you know, I can put in my header up here and I can go in and adjust, you know, just like you would in Word or something like that, increase my font size, change my text color, and it gives me all my bold face and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, as I hit return, it'll give me a new plus sign. So I, if I click on that plus sign, they call it the magic tool, add magic. Um, they have all these little things like a subheading. So if I wanted to add a, a subheading font, subhead goes here. 
you know, it's a very clean interface. You know, it's really good at creating that little hierarchy and remembering, you know, uh, your styles and things like that. Uh, so you don't have to go back and do them all over again. Then I want to get into body copy here. And my story runs here. Uh, and then if I wanted to embed something like uh, a graphic uh, or a uh, YouTube video, I can hit the embed button. And let me grab this little link here. This is to one of my training videos on uh, Google Earth Studio. Uh, and here we go. I can paste the embed link in, hit return, and it embeds the video right into the document. Um, uh, your uh, Google Docs won't do that. Um, it won't do that auto embed. Um, so, you know, this has that nice little link uh, and hit return uh, feature that uh, Medium has, but uh, Google Docs does not have. Um, also, it has a little tool here called Magic Write. Uh, Magic Write uh, uh, kind of helps you with uh, writer's block, things like that. Um, it's an AI driven tool. Uh, it's helped kind of jumpstart your brain if you're having a little trouble coming up with uh, 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 something. Uh, so I'll demo it here. I, I say use it with a grain of salt, but it's kind of a neat feature. Hit magic type and then five tips on how to write uh, overcome writer's block. Um, you know, I'm going to do mine, you know, five tips for writing short paragraphs, which we should all do as journalists, short type paragraphs. I'll hit return and magic write uses its little AI magic to come up with some, you know, pretty obvious examples here, but you know, it could be, uh, uh, you know, re really helpful to you, uh, you know, if you're stuck on something. Uh, it's kind of also almost, almost like going to Hey Siri or, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, one of the uh, voice uh, activated tools in your home and asking a question. Uh, you know, you can kind of do it here and it'll give you, uh, you know, kind of a rough outline to work with. And again, you don't have to use these verbatim. You can go through and rewrite them yourself. So Magic Write, kind of a fun little feature. Um, design allows you to drop in uh, different features into it, uh, subheads and things like that. Um, you know, so if I wanted to use this and you know go through and, and, and add those, you know, I can I can do so, uh, and it'll just drop those subheads in. And you can adjust the colors on these, any of the styles, things like that, uh, or import your own images uh, as well. Um, it gives you uh, all kinds of different things: line charts, bar charts, pie charts. You could drop in here a little ticker, a little timer uh, in here as well. Maybe you're doing a time test. Um, and the usual suspects, you know, bulleted and numbered lists, tables, uh, you know, which uh, you know, if I wanted to do a, uh, you know, a three by, uh, uh, three by four table, I could drop it in here and then type in my data in here. Um, so, you know, very clean little interface, but you know, that magic right in the uh, video uh, and, and uh, graphic embed tool uh, is really kind of a nice feature here. Um, it auto saves as you go, which is great. Uh, allows you to convert it uh, into a presentation. Um, it'll automatically go and rip out uh, all this stuff and guess, you know, uses AI again to guess what you would be using as different slides. Uh, basically, it's anytime you kind of hit the plus sign and add some text and a header, it'll break it out as a, as a new slide. Um, I've had limited success with it, but it's, you know, it's kind of an interesting feature. Um, and you can hit the share button up here uh, and uh, label it. Um, I'm just going to name it label it practice doc. I can add in uh, you know, a little description with it and, and then send it. I can invite other people uh, to put on my team here. You know, Jeremy Kaplan's a good friend of mine, runs Wonder Tools. You know, do I want to share this with him maybe, you know, uh, and I don't, uh, but uh, you know, I could. Um, and uh, you know, then you have uh, yeah, the share button uh, for your design that you can go in and add. Right now only I can access uh, but I, I can adjust it to anybody with the link and you know can share the link then uh, as well with others by just hitting copy link button and emailing it to them. You know, so uh, that in a nutshell uh, is uh, Canva uh, Docs over here on the left-hand side. Uh, it allows you to upload images, add different applications, elements, you know, shapes, uh, things like that in here, tables, uh, Im various images. Uh, they have a very deep image bank um, in here. Uh, if you have Canva Pro, uh, those images will be free. If not, you can buy them as you go. Uh, also, you can insert charts from over here too, but really, you know, the little uh, magic tool in here will uh, allow you to do the same thing. Uh, so it kind of replaces a lot of the tools on the left-hand side, but you can still, you know, use these over here. So I hope you uh, found this uh, uh, training helpful. Um, Canva.com, the free version is fine. 
Um, but the uh, paid version, the pro version, which goes for about 120 bucks a year, um, has all kinds of added features, including uh, you know, a great uh, collection of uh, uh, rights-free images uh, and videos as well, little GIFs uh, as well in there. Uh, you can also add uh, emojis in here too. I wanted to add that before I finished. Um, uh, by hitting the plus sign, you can do colon, hit the colon button, and then I could select graphics or an emoji and then just search for it. Um, so if I wanted the poop emoji, um, it'll uh, uh, search for it. And it's not giving me a result here. Interesting. Um, uh, so let's see if it gives me a heart emoji. It might be giving me, yeah, there it goes. It finally kicked in. Um, uh, it usually gives you the uh, poop emoji. But if you need to add an emoji on the fly here, you know, you just hit the little plus sign, you hit colon, and then ask what you're looking for there. Uh, again, you know, some of these features were, were taken right out of Medium, um, but uh, uh, it's never been used before, at least not that I've seen uh, in a docs uh, program. Uh, so keep in mind, Journalist Toolbox, that productivity page, has a lot of these different types of tools, including Miro, this one featured out here, uh, which does some of the things that uh, uh, Canva's uh, Docs uh, tool does and Google Docs does, another really good tool in there. Uh, so I hope, hope you found this helpful. Uh, we'll see you on the next video.